Over the last 12 months, some suburbs in Brisbane have gone up by as much as 30%. Now, in today's video, Simon and I wanted to bring you 12 of the number one reasons to buy property in Brisbane or to seriously consider Brisbane at this special time in the market cycle. Now I'm just gonna get stuck straight into it today because we've got 12 different things to get through. And the first one that I wanted to bring up is obviously the 2032 Olympic Games coming to Brisbane. Now, last year in 2021, the Australian Financial Review came out saying that they believe real estate prices could double in Brisbane between 2021 and the 2032 Olympic Games, which is massive. Now, the second was a short-term prediction coming out from Simon Priestley from Propertyology, where he was looking at Brisbane being the top performing market in Australia over the next couple of years. He was saying that he believes real estate prices could go up somewhere between 30 to even 45% between 2022 and the end of 2023. But it wasn't just Simon Priestley predicting some pretty positive returns in Brisbane. Even the major banks were coming out saying that they believe Brisbane could be one of the top performing markets in Australia with the chances for it to increase somewhere between 7 and 12% in 2022 alone. Now, one of my faves, one of the most underrated commentators in the world around property is Phil Anderson. He just did an interview, which is insane. We oh, watched yeah. it this week, talking about property prices in Australia growing potentially between 50 and 70% higher <laughs> between now and 2026. Whether this happens or not, we don't know, but... God, I like hearing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just in case. On top of that, I've heard the Australian government talking about 120,000 new jobs being created through the Olympic Games as we ramp up with in terms of infrastructure, in terms of the jobs that come around that. Some of those people that come up for those jobs or create those jobs will stay long term as well, which is beautiful. And then on top of that, we've got vacancy rates at honestly the lowest level that I've seen since buying in Brisbane. I heard that in Australia right now, there's something like 55,000 dwellings for rent. And when you take Sydney and Melbourne out, there's only 15,000 places Australia wide. Now, the Australian Bureau of Statistics is expecting to start bringing in another 200,000 new people a year from 2023 forward. There's already not enough places for them to live in Brisbane. It's crazy. Now, there is an unprecedented infrastructure boom going on around Australia with expected to be $228 billion worth of new infrastructure projects to be completed by the end of 2025. It's going to bring a lot of jobs to the economy as well, which is great. Now, according to Simon Priestley from Propertyology, there is a heck of amount of money sitting in people's savings accounts or redraw accounts against their home loans. He expects there to be around $240 billion worth of cash in these accounts at the moment. That is a lot of sideline cash there. We've also seen a lot of people move into southeast Queensland over the last couple of years, but the Australian Bureau of Statistics doesn't see that ending anytime soon. And they believe the Brisbane market is going to have over 5 million people living there within the next 25 years. Cool. Now, because Brisbane's been such a sleeper for the last 14 years, we do sometimes forget that it is the third largest capital city in Australia. According to the International Monetary Fund, to be one of 200 cities to look out for over the next 50 years globally. So Homely recently did an article looking at Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and Perth between 1976 and 2016. And when Simon and I back-tested it and averaged it out, Brisbane had grown by 9.7% per annum. Now, Sydney over the same period of time had only done 9.6 and Melbourne had done 9.5, which was super surprising to me because everyone's always like, Sydney's performed better, Melbourne's performed better, but secretly Brisbane's been kicking it in the background. Man, I was fully blown away when we actually averaged that out over that period of time. Um, go Brizzy. Yeah, Brizzy. <laughs> the last thing, obviously, you know, Brisbane's just an awesome city to live in. Um, Southeast Queensland as well with the Gold Coast, the Sunshine Coast, even out to Toowoomba and the Tablelands as well. Like there is so many different things to do up here. And it's clearly been the top priority for most people in Australia as a place to live over the last couple of years throughout COVID with people being able to work from home. People want to be able to enjoy their lifestyles and, you know, you've really got it all up here as well. So I think, you know, from an emotional aspect, there's a lot on offer up here in Southeast Queensland. 
Hundred percent, man. Like I love it here. And for those of you who are seriously thinking about moving here or investing here, Simon and I would love to offer you a one-on-one strategy session. Just jump over to www.pumpedonproperty.com, book in that free strategy session where one of us or our team can talk about where you are, where you'd like to be longer term, what your property investment goals look like, and then you can take that information and smash it on your own, or maybe become one of the small number of people that we work with. But from buying over 300 million bucks worth of property up here now. We're all in, we love it, and hopefully in this video you got a bit of value today. Good luck on your journey. Woo! That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Getting Have cool, a spin. Bro. Yeah. Oh, sweaty. So sweaty. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's so nice, eh? Oh.